again, if you're looking at the layering, I've done some videos on Agenda 21 and I did one yesterday on ICLE, which is this um, um, local governments for sustainability. Mm-hmm. And this has been um, this has been pushed since 1963. With, I think it was 63 with the Club of Rome coming out of the round table and then UN Agenda 21 and now they call it Agenda 2030, Build Back Better, mm-hmm. fucking Green New Deal. It's, it's, all, all the, it's the same thing. It's all the same thing. And um, it's funny because I've been staying at mum and dad's all week and they'll call themselves awake, but they do like to watch Sky News fucking religiously. <laughs> so I've been watching a lot of mainstream TV and, yeah, they're talking about you can't, these, uh, you, they shouldn't be rebuilding in these areas. Ministers have been coming out. And this is all part of the ICLA agenda, which is this UN Agenda 21, of which I've found out Northern Rivers or Byron Shire is a part of Agenda 21. Mm. And a big part of that, big part of that plan is to get the people off the land. So if they haven't taken you out through fire, they've tried to take you out economically through COVID. And then if you've survived all that, you've been flooded out. So, but the other beautiful side of it is, <laughs> there's the other thing, they've made it very obvious that the government's not coming to help you too. Mm. And then all while this is happening, Shane Warne dies, the most famous, you know, pr- probably the most famous Australian on the planet. Mm. He dies in the middle of it. One day after another famous Australian dies of both of a heart attack. So they're trying to almost make, they, they want to push the conspiracists to go, mm. oh, they died of a heart attack because of, you know what? So there's all these, and these are like distractions away from the flood, and then you've got Ukraine, and um, it's just the pace of it is just extraordinary. Again, I don't see the full extent of Agenda 21 play. I'll ask people to go watch my video if they want to. Because I, I, I talked about, like, I don't put those videos out of fear, and I'm making that video. It's not going to come to fruition. I'm just saying this is where they want to take you, I guess, hoping that people will stand up. But, um, again, they're pushing that way too quick. It's a decades-long agenda, and now they're trying to ram it so quick. Fast. But it's very accelerated. I, um, I think you you contacted me a few weeks ago and we had this discussion. I was like, well, yeah, about, and we're talking about the elements because we did a session and I kept getting told that I need to listen to the elements. I was just, it was just coming into me. I'm like, you are the rain, you are the fire, you are the earth, you are the water, you, you know, all these things, and then... It's like I, I did a video talking about the the big fires was like a big burning smoke ritual to start the ritual of this global takeover. And then you've like, you're like, oh, Dale, COVID's like the air. And I'm like, shit. Yeah. <laughs> and then we now we've got the water element. It's like this purification that you might want to talk about. Um, and that's not a disrespect to people that have lost anything. I'm just talking about the layering. It's It's layered. So, and then you're like, oh, fuck, what's the earth element? What's <laughs> so maybe, maybe you want to talk about. Yeah, about- well, it, it's interesting. I think you and I tend to pick up on the same download at the same moment. And then it's like, yeah, oh, right. and then I'll message you. I'm like, oh my God. And then you're like, oh my God, I was just talking about that. And I was like, I was literally standing in my kitchen and I was like, it came to me and it was like, it started with the fires. And then so that element of fire and then obviously we've gone through COVID for the last two years, which is air, um, airborne, you know, well, depends which way you want to look at it. <laughs> um, but in, and, in symbology, it's air. Yeah, right, whether, it's yeah. symbology. <laughs> um, and then now we're, we're dealing with this um, yet another purification, if you want to look at it from that aspect, and obviously there's multiple. Um uh, of looking at the element of water and I was sort of going back through a lot of the dreams I get a lot of messages in my dreams that sometimes take a little while to appear or manifest in this reality and I did have a dream message I think it was probably around November last year that there would be a purification by water and at the same time I know a lot of people were having dreams about tsunamis and floods and um, this message about purification by water and I thought, oh, we've got three elements. <laughs> What's going to be the fourth one? And I kind of cringed to myself because I like to be the ultimate optimist. You know, it's not that I don't see the dark, but I like to to be able to balance the perspectives. And, of course, when you think about the earth element, the first thing that comes to mind is earthquakes. And, I mean, we did have that one in Melbourne, that, that big-ish one, and we've had little ones. 
um, you know, whether that's, you know, the tunnels being, you know, blown up or, you know, there's multiple different schools of thought around what is creating them, um, whether it's Mother Earth herself just having enough and giving a bit of a shake up. But I was thinking about it in two perspectives and I thought, well, that's the physical layering, isn't it? Earth, you know, it's solid, it's form. And, yeah, it could be earthquakes. Um, I did a BQH session back last year with Alison Co. around a lot of information around um, what people call the event or the solar flash, but cosmic energies basically to summarise it. And I did see that the precursor to that was a big earthquake and I took that as symbolic um, and I saw it in my local town where the earth split. Um, I don't think it would be that extreme or devastating. It was showing more the splitting of the realities, which is well and truly underway and has been for a while. Um, but then I also thought, is it also Earth, as in the Earth is moving into that higher frequency, if you want to look at the ultimate opt you know, optimistic perspective. But I think we've still got a bit of turbulent times moving through. So it's it's kind of interesting to have a look at it from that perspective. If we've got, you know, if we've got um, four quarters and we've just, you know, completed or in the process of the third one, we've got one more component to go, you know, because people are always like, when is this going to be over and asking those questions? And, you know, we can't read it in a linear time, but we can look at the cues of um, the, the different signs and, and um, reading. I like to read through reality and what's happening and correlate it to information and try and piece it together and look at cycles from that perspective. So... Do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, I, I think there's a lot to it. Um, as far as like what that earth element is, I don't um, like. Again, that's like layering too. So, but if you're looking at um, um, you're looking at as an initiation and a purification process, then it probably does have to be something traumatic. Even though I do think that the final stage is us coming back to the earth, coming back to the mother. Right, that's what it's about.